Hello everyone, Spencer from Buildpreneur here. And uh, if you're watching this video, you're looking into MailChimp as a potential autoresponder for your business. And uh, so you understand where I'm coming from and what, what uh, I'm bringing to the table here. I used MailChimp for a couple years in my business and then I moved over to a company called Aweber and then a company called Drip. And I'm currently using a company called Active Campaign that I personally find to be the best of the four. And so if I kind of push towards that, that's why. Um, I have used many autoresponders and I'm very familiar with MailChimp. Um, and and I've used, I now use one called Active Campaign, which I, I will include a link to below if, you, if you're interested in that. But um, the good thing about MailChimp and the reason people love it and why tons of, of, of new people to autoresponders use it is because it's very simple for beginners. Um, they come with lots of templates. Um, everything is kind of very simply laid out and, uh, and you don't have to do a lot of, it's, you know, it's not really complicated, which email marketing can be. Um, so for example, it's built, it's built like most autoresponders. There's, you, you have a bunch of lists and so you add people to lists through different campaigns and things like that. And then you have campaigns, and that's emails that you send to your list, okay? And when you go to create a campaign in MailChimp, you can, th th this is one thing I don't like, um, you're kind of looking there and you're not quite sure what you're doing. So for example, if you're trying to create an email automation that emails someone five, six, seven, eight times after they sign into a list, you're looking here and you're like, I don't really know, like I want to send them an automation, but it says send an email, send an ad, you click send an email and then it gives you these options here. I'm not a fan of that, I think it's kind of confusing. So you can just send out an email to your list, which is pretty simple and I'll show you the editor. You can send out an automated um, email, which basically sends out multiple, multiple emails, right? Um, or you can just send out like a really simple plain text email or you can A-B test things like subject lines, which means you can send out uh, to half your list, one subject line, and half your list, another subject line, and you can see which one does better, which one gets the most opens, right? Which is very, very useful information. So it's good that it lets you do all that stuff. Um, so we're going to look at automations first. Um, and and it gives you like these three options. Once again, not a huge fan. Like most of the time, you just want to create your own automation. Um, we could select well, welcome new subscribers and then just adjust it, but we'll just click custom. Campaign name, we'll say it's a test. Select the list that we're going to use. We'll click this one and we'll go from there. Um, so looking inside of an automation, it's very, very simple. It's just one email after another, right? You, you can just keep adding emails and it'll send this one and then it, it's standard, it'll wait one day and send this one, then it'll wait one day and send this one. Um, and you can tweak that a little bit so you can say things like uh, wait two days or um, you can base it on activity, so you can look in and say, hey, did this person open this email or did this person ever subscribe to this list through another way? You know, if they buy something, um, did they subscribe to this list? There's a lot of different things you can do, which is all really nice, right? You can, you can say only send this email to people that didn't buy a product or that didn't click a link and haven't heard of it or didn't open an email, right? Which is all really nice um, and it all makes sense. One thing I don't like about it is it doesn't, it's not very visual and so you're looking at it and it's not, not super visual, it's just kind of like email, email, email and you're not sure where people are and who's getting what. Um, and I'm going to hop over now because I want to show you Active Campaign. This is one of the reasons I left Active Campaign because it's, it's very much different than that. Um, and I hope, you know, I'm sure people are going to be annoyed. I want to know about MailChimp. but. Um, you need to see what else is out there and what else could be offered in the same thing. So if you look at one of my automations in Active Campaign, it's very, very, very visual, okay? It just, so I zoom out here, okay? So I'm just sending emails, I'm having it wait certain amounts of time, um, and then it splits people, okay? And you can see that, that split on my list where I send some people here and I spend some people here based on an action. And now these people follow this sequence. And these people follow these sequence. Now anywhere in here, I can easily send someone over back to here. I can just click and, and drag a line and say, no, put that person back in the main sequence if they open this email or didn't open this email or anything like that, okay? And so Active Campaign is much more visual where you can just say, send email, split, send one, some people here, send some people here. And then I can take those people and say, well, if they open, then send them back into this email automation. If they never open, maybe just start sending them these generic emails or something like that. So much more, uh, much more visual versus this one, which is just kind of emails, and you got to dive in there in each individual email and try to figure out who's getting what. Um, you also don't really know how different things are, are doing, right? So for example, you don't know how many people have opened different emails and things like that. Um, how many people are in, like, how many people are, you know, in this part of the automation or this part or this part versus active campaign, where I can see right here, 
you've got um, 65 people in this queue right now waiting to get this email, okay? You can see where everybody is. I can click on that and see where every single person is in this automation really, really easily. Um, you know, one person here, one person here. So very, very easy to do. Um, now, going back here, so, so MailChimp is simple. It's, it's just one email, one day, one email, one day, one email, one day, and you can make some adjustments, but you can't really see them. Um, and so we're going to dive into the actual email designer now. Email subject. So this is all kind of basic stuff. Test. Preview text, which is kind of the text that shows up on like an iPhone or something um, after the subject line sometimes. Test. From name, from email. Okay, now it's got tons of pretty templates. So if you just like pretty beautiful emails that you can spit out quick, um, then MailChimp has beautiful templates. Um, and they've been in the game for a long time, so you can select the template uh, based on what you're doing and run with it. Okay, it's got a very easy drag and drop builder. So once it throws in our template here, uh, you can see this is just an image section. So I could make another one of those by throwing in an image group, right? Drag a block here, bam, I've got a group of images. Um, and I can go to the settings there and kind of change how I want those to look and things like that. Um, very, very easy to do. So very, very good builder. And then I can add a text. You know, I want to add some text here and write some text. And then, oh, I want to add my social share buttons. Drag those in the bottom there. Okay, and see, boop, 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 boop. There they go. You can change the style of them if you want. Um, all very easily. Maybe I want this one. So it's very, very easy when it comes to email design. MailChimp wins, hands down, um, between almost any other one because you can send beautiful, beautiful emails really, really quickly. Okay, I'm going to save and continue just so I can show you the process here. Okay, so now I've designed this email. It's set to send anytime anyone enters my list. All very, very easy. I'm going to go back to the main page here and we'll talk about one more thing before we go. And I'm not going to show you other active campaign or other autoresponders because there's just isn't as good. Um, so the other thing to to note and some cool things about uh, Mailchimp is it has very good reporting. So you can go in here and you can see different campaigns that you send out, who's opening, who's not opening. Um, really good numbers here. You can kind of see uh, stuff like that. You can view individual reports um, within a campaign. Um, so I can see opens, clicks, delivers, um, how many like unique clicks. Uh, charts and things like that. I'm not going to go over it all, but very, very good at reporting. Um, and so, and you can see here, depending on what you're doing, if you're in e-commerce or, or wherever you're in, um, and I don't do a lot of e-commerce, so I don't get in a lot of that. But, but all in all, MailChimp is a very, very simple um, platform to use. It's a very simple platform to build emails in, to build automations in. Um, and if that's all you're going for, then you're in a, you're, you're in a great place and uh, you can sign up. I have a link down below and you can sign up and, um, and, and run with MailChimp. It's an awesome platform. But if you're looking for something more, something with a little more um, guts to it that can really do a lot more, um, then I would always recommend Active Campaign to people because there's just so many more options. If I click a plus here, I can send an email, I can send a text. There's all kinds of conditions, okay? So I can... Um, I can say, I can say, hey, what time zone is this contact in? Are they in England? Okay, well, I don't want you to send this email at five o'clock U.S. time. I want you to send this at, at five o'clock England time, so they get it, you know, at, at a good time for them. Um, Mailchimp doesn't offer anything like that, and it's very, very useful to not be sending emails at two a.m. because people wake up to thirty emails a lot of times, and they just don't ever read them because there's too many. Versus if you can send it two p.m., um, you know that they, they get a fresh email and they can they can read it right then a lot of times. So you get a lot higher open rates. And Active Campaign lets you do that. Lets you say, hey, whatever their time zone is, I want it to arrive at two p.m. Um, you know, twenty four hours after the previous one arrives. Um, and then it lets you do a lot more with 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 contacts. Um, Active Campaign lets you do a lot of tagging, so you can tag everything people are doing with in, with inside of your automations. And, and really, really differentiate people. And so if you want to do a lot of segmenting and like, ah, well, this person did this and this person acted this way and this person acted this way and I want them all to be getting different things. It sounds complicated, but, um, but it, it can really increase your, your um, click-through rates and increase your sale rates and things like that. And so um, Active Campaign is just a lot more beefy and a little bit more complicated. MailChimp is less options, but a lot more simple. Um, and so those are, I'm, obviously this was more of a comparison than a review. 
Um, but those are the only two that I would really look at and that I would ever recommend anybody to use. Um, huge, I'm not a huge fan of AWeber, not a huge fan of, of Drip, the other two that I've used. And, uh, and so if you're going for simplicity, choose MailChimp. If you're going for um, just robustness while still being a lot more simple than some of the other more robust platforms, ActiveCampaign. Uh, links are down below. Thank you very much.